Are you looking to extend your hot spots range if you have an external antenna like the open spot, jumbo spot, or others? I'll show you a little device here that allows you to extend your range outside your shack. Stay tuned. 5-9 radio. So, I was needing to have a way to feed our local fusion repeater. And I was using Wires X, but I didn't want to tie up a radio anymore. And I had this open spot uh, hanging around. So what I did was I looked around for amplifiers. But the only problem is with hot spots, such as open spot, it only puts out about 20 milliwatts. And that won't excite most regular amplifiers as they're made for radios for, with a couple watts out put so I looked around on eBay and I found a couple different variants of these amplifiers that are designed for hot spots uh, they do have some lower power ones this one's a 25 watt output advertised with the open spot putting out 20 milliwatts this amplifier will put out about 12 watts roughly and the nice thing about this amplifier is the input range is from 1 milliwatt clear up to 50 milliwatts so if you had a hot spot that was able to put out 50 milliwatts this would probably do the full 25 since this only does 20 it's putting out roughly half the power which it's enough to reach with an external antenna the repeater that's about 13 miles away it's been working fine it's basically just a little board here you have your RF input your antenna output I did have to solder on the power leads which ain't no big deal. It also has this large heat sink and a fan. And the fan is thermal controlled, so it only comes on when it has to. And I've been running this thing on America Link just to test it out after I got it. And it's currently. It's a little warm. I mean, I can hold my hand on it. No problem. But you guys know how busy the America Link is. And this thing's been just keeping right along with it. So I'll go ahead and show you the eBay listing of where I got it. Okay, so here I am on eBay and what I searched for was DMR amplifier and this is the seller I used here there's a couple other one that's on eBay that look like it um, take your chance however I did have good luck with this seller he also answered any questions I had within a day so he had good customer service there as well. Uh, 6460. Shipping was five dollars, and I ordered it, and I got it in less than two weeks, which is pretty good with all that's going on in the world right now. So there are some that's a little bit cheaper. Again, it's up to you. Uh, this is just the seller I used. So. Here's the amplifier. As you see, you have your RF in on this side, your RF out on the other side, and your heat sink and your fan there. Here's what the other side looks like. Another view. Another view. So, 
like here you can see some of the other ones that's on eBay so here's the specs your power supply voltage needs to be 12 to 14 volts I'm running it off a of power supply that I run some other stuff off of it's about 13.6 to 13.8 um, frequency range 335 to 480 so the handband it does work within that here's the input power and what makes these amplifiers different from other ones so they'll work with hot spots it is 0.1 to 50 milliwatt so like I said I'm using the open spot which on high power is roughly 20 milliwatts so it's about half Output power with the full 50 milliwatts and your higher voltage, your, they claim about 25 watts. Like I said, I'm running about 13.6, 13.7 with my power supply, about 20 milliwatts. And I'm seeing about 12 watts. It kind of varies, 12, 13. I'll show a picture of it on my meter in the video. Heat dissipation method, automatic temperature control, and active heat dissipation. It has a huge heat sink on it. Working current, 2 amps. This varies with operating frequency and power supply voltage. Dimensions, 40 by 40 by 100 millimeters. It fits in the palm of my hand. It's about the length. Maybe just a hair taller than the average HT. And about a time and a half thicker than a handheld. So not huge. And weighs 190 grams. And I searched DMR amplifier. Again, like I said, I asked a few questions beforehand. He was quick to answer me back, and I did get the item in less than two weeks, so I was really surprised by that, especially coming from China. So, there you have it. Uh, if you're needing an amplifier for your hotspot, if you're either doing like my application where you're wanting to feed a repeater, or I know some other applications would be if you didn't have a DMR or fusion repeater or something in your area but you had a digital handheld you could hook your hotspot up to an external antenna and be able to use your handheld or mobile away from your house kind of use it like a simplex repeater with an amplifier like this and there's just so many other op options you could use these for they do make a few bigger ones I've seen I don't know if this seller has them but I have seen some that claim 50 watts I've heard good and bad some will say that like, the open spot and stuff will have enough power to excite it the amplifier to get it to transmit some say it don't here's another one it's a 13 watt version I almost bought this one but I wanted just a little extra cushion I'm glad I did not a lot of price difference We'll go back. So, again, nice little amplifier. I've had it running on America Link for almost two weeks, solid, and not had any issues with it. I did, again, I did have to put there the fan kicked on. If you can hear it in the background, I did have to solder my own power leads. It doesn't come with anything, so. If you don't like the idea of that, 
I'm sure you could find somebody in a local club or fellow ham that could solder it for you. Be sure to also put a fuse in line as well. So, thanks everybody for watching. We'll say 73s and we'll catch you all later.